The enemies on the battlefield are one thing, but at least they're out in the open. It's the traitors among us I truly hate. I haven't set foot on Super Earth myself, but I've heard it's even more spectacular in person. Even though the First Galactic War ended almost 100 years ago, we're still enjoying the freedom those heroes fought and died for. Maybe in another 100 years, our descendants will be doing the same. The election is coming up. Even in the midst of war, managed democracy stands strong. If the Terminids had stayed on the Element 710 farms where they belonged, all this bloodshed could have been avoided. The average Helldiver mission approaches the cost of a Liberty-class cruiser. Just goes to show how critical our mission is to the war effort. When I get exhausted, I just think of all the brave Super-Earth colonists out there settling new planets. They do their part, and we do ours. Liberty rests on your shoulders, Helldiver. I know you can bear the weight. I'm sure you've wondered how voting works on a destroyer. Don't worry, our terminal is top of the line. Latest algorithm and everything. The bots are proof that if you put enough ones and zeros together, you can threaten the entire galaxy. You know, the cost of one stratagem is more than most citizens make in a year. You can see why they only entrust them to Helldivers. Stay vigilant, Helldiver. Complacency plays right into the hands of dissidents. You know, this destroyer has enough ordnance to level a small moon. I've done the calculations myself. There's no day-night cycle on board these ships. I like to imagine it's always morning with a whole day of defending freedom left ahead of me. The more we fight, the more it becomes clear that our enemies will never accept our way of life. It's us or them. I thought we had a lot of planets when I was a kid, but we've settled dozens more since then. A few generations from now, and the entire Milky Way will be one united democracy. Keeping things running around here isn't easy, but if that's how I can best serve Liberty, I'll do it gladly. Each mission puts this crew at risk, but everyone here would gladly give their lives to preserve democracy. Some of the crew like to talk about what they'll do when the war is over. I don't allow that sort of thing. We need to focus on the fight. Ammo, fuel, personnel. I manage everything on this ship with one thing in mind. Making sure you have the support you need, Helldiver. Here's the problem with the bots, Helldiver. Their whole society revolves around violence. If they actually won the war, they'd have no idea how to function. You know, the problem with the bugs is that they're relentless expansionists. In their region of space, we found them on nearly every planet we've settled. The bugs are basically an out of control pest, and you're the exterminator. If you've got any medals or super credits, you can spend them in the acquisition store. That's where they sell the fancy stuff. Oh, I see you've secured some research samples. You can spend those at the terminal over there to upgrade the super destroyer. Get enough of them? And we'll see what this baby can really do. Keep up the good work, Helldiver. Once we win, the planets we're fighting over will finally be allowed to prosper, like the rest of the Federation. The Destroyer is mighty, but it's not Super Earth's greatest weapon. No, that is managed democracy. The one thing our enemies can never understand. Mission accomplished, and quickly too. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. The Super Destroyer is yours. This ship will never visit most of our planets. Why? because they aren't under attack. And with you here, they'll stay that way. If we don't stop the bug's mindless reproduction, the burden's going to fall on our children and our children's children. More samples, good. I'm looking forward to seeing what destroyer upgrades you can get for them. The bots are simple enough, a little more than bits of metal welded to a gun and a CPU with a single overriding directive, kill. I give every crew member a half day off on Liberty Day. Some things are sacred, even on the front. The democracy officer is here to optimize our citizenship. We're lucky. We should always strive to be the best citizens we can be. You inspire me, Helldiver. You inspire us all. Our enemies can fight as hard as they like, but freedom always wins. 01000001, 01 that was the first intercepted bot message. Our analysts think it means kill all humans. Watching Helldivers in action is great for crew morale. It's even better than a dissident execution. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting for peace. Freedom wins again.